بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أيها الأحبة في الله شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى said what is known by necessity for the one who reflects upon the book and the sunnah and what the Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah agree upon from all the different sects is that the best of the generations from this Ummah in its actions, statements, beliefs and all other good virtues are the first generation then those who fought, came after them and then those after them as is established from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from many different narrations and that the first three generations are better than those who came after them in every single virtue in knowledge, action, Iman intellect, deen, clarity, worship, and that they are foremost in clarifying every problem. And this is not rejected except by the one who is obstinate to which is known from the deen of Islam be necessity. And Allah has misguided him away from knowledge. And this is the haq ayyullah habbatifillah. This is known by the deen be durura that the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een were the best of this ummah because they were there in witnessing the revelation from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they were there during the time of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa they witnessed the revelation the Qur'an being revealed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they witnessed the actions, the mannerisms and the speech of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what he liked and what he didn't like Alayhi Salatu Wasallam they were there to ask questions to get fatawa to get understanding in fiqh fi deen and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said Alayhi Salatu Wasallam that they were the best Muhammad ibn al Hussein said it reached me that some of the companions of Abu, uh, of Abu Ali al Jozani Al Jozanji asked him, What is the path of Allah? He said, The most correct way, most pros prosperous, and most distant from doubt is following the book and the sunnah in statements, actions, in belief, and intention. Because Allah Ta'ala said, If you obey Him, you shall be on right guidance. He was asked, What is the path to following the sunnah? He answered, keeping away from bid'ah and following that which the first generations were gathered upon from the scholars of Islam and its people also keeping away from the gatherings of the people of philosophy rhetoric and their people adhering to the path of following and the example and that is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ordered with the saying of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala then we have inspired you follow the religion of Ibrahim Hanif Hanifa al Uzai said, Knowledge is that which came from the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that which did not come from them is not knowledge. Imam Abu Mudhaffir Sam'ani rahimahullah ta'ala said in his book Al-Intisal al-Ahl al-Hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when he was asked about the Firqa al najia the sage sect what I am upon in my companions, meaning whoever is upon what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was upon in his companions. Therefore it is not necessary to know what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions were upon and there is no way of knowing it except by transmission of narrations. So it is obligatory to return to that. Therefore it is necessary, forgive me, therefore it is necessary to know what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said and his companions were upon and there is no way uh, of knowing it except by transmission of the narration. So it is obligatory to return to that. Ayyul ahabbati fillah. We have to return back to Kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah. And I ask you to ask any of those people who speak to you about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion. Make sure that when you hear strange statements, you ask them, did it come from Kitab Allah? Did it come from sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Did it come from the fahim of the salaf of this ummah? And if they have no for all three, then beware their qawl. 
Stay away from their statement because it can lead you astray. Al Hussein ibn Muhammad al Taibi, rahimahullah ta'ala, said, Indeed, if you say, What is your proof that you are upon the correct path? Since every single sect claims that they are upon it rather than others. Allahu Akbar. Isn't it a sh this a shubahat we deal with today? Let's read the statement again from one of our salaf. Al Hussein ibn Muhammad al Taibi, rahimahullah ta'ala, said, Indeed, if you say, What is your proof? that you are upon the correct path, since every single sect claims that they are upon it rather than others. I say, this claim and affirmation of being on the correct path cannot be done by, you, by uh, using deficient suspicion and allegations. Rather, it occurs by transmitting from brilliant scholars of these skills and the scholars of the people of Hadith who gather the authentic Hadith Concerning the matters of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his circumstances, his actions, and in all his dealings, likewise, the circumstances of the companions from the Muhajirun wa Ansar and those who follow them in goodness. From the collections of Hadith were the collections of Imam Muhammad ibn Ismail al Bukhari, Muslim ibn Hajjaj, and others from the well known trustworthy ones about whom the East and the West are agreed upon upon the authenticity of what they brought in their books from the matters of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions. Then there are those who took it to extract its meanings and solve its issues like Imam Abu Suleiman al-Khattabi and the Imam, reviver of the Sunnah, Abu Muhammad al-Baghwi and the Imam, Muhyiddin al nawawi May Allah have mercy upon all of them and reward them on behalf of the Muslims with goodness, Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen, and thankful that they made their efforts for the deen. Then after the transmission of the narration, one looks to see who adheres to their guidance and follows their footsteps and is rightly guided upon their paths and the principles and branches of the deen. And Allah knows best with what is correct. Imam Abdurrahman al Sa'adi said, one of our contemporary scholars, one of the scholars of Ben Uthaymeen, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, Rahimahumullah Jami'an, Indeed, it is necessary upon the slave of Allah to adhere to follow to what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with. It is not allowed to oppose the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Indeed, the text of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is like the text of the, of the law. There is no concession for anyone nor any excuse to leave it. And it is not allowed to give precedence to any one statement above his statement. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And may Allah bless us with tawfiq in following kitab Allah wa sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah bless us with ikhlas with tabal ala sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam.